with high angle attack testing for a couple of reasons. First of all, this aircraft has the capability to go there in controlled flight and fly and maneuver and engage and employ. For a more traditional sense, any aircraft can be put out of control and we take all of our aircraft to high angles of attack to look at where their departure boundaries are and how recoverable they are once you exceed the departure boundaries. High angle attack test program is one of the highest risk programs that we do in, in flight tests in general. When we put the aircraft at this extreme of an, of an angle of attack, at least with older generation aircraft and older generation engines, just being in that flight condition increased the chances of losing the engine. The engine in the F-35 has performed really excellent so far and we haven't had any issues like that. What we learn will go into uh, the flight manual, the training manuals for, uh, for operational pilots so that any insights we learn about maneuvering the aircraft, care and feeding of the airplane, high angles of attack will be passed along to the operators. We're into the basics right now. We move to different configurations, different centers of gravity, different sets of maneuvers. Eventually we're going to take the spin recovery chute off and start uh, working our way towards more operationally representative stuff. But this is a program that's been going on here for quite a while.